Welcome back to Flat Earth Maps. We'll talk a little more about this unexplored region. You know, you, you, you start doing research on this stuff, it's, it's just never ending, but uh, maybe some people will join in with me and, and do some maps here. But uh, as I was talking about in the, in the previous video, you know, this 90 degree line here goes from North America over to Russia. If you look at this map here, this is 90 degrees. This is the Arctic Circle, Ar Arctic Sea here. Basically, if you went from Dallas, you came straight above, straight all across, coming, coming this way right here. Okay. Come out of Dallas, coming straight up this way. Ninety degrees, right here. This is ninety degrees, right here. problem is that all these lines of latitude came to a point that was unexplored when they were set. And if you search the internet, you can't find an accurate map with the mileage from, from these different continents all up here in this north region. And uh, be very simple to prove that you live on a ball just on this side of the earth over here there is over 12,000 miles of land if you drove all the way up to this this line here all the way from South America talking about 12,000 or more miles half the ball is in land on this side of the world if you came straight up that's 12,000 miles basically we've been taught that the ball is 25,000 miles in diameter okay and uh, 12,000 miles of its on the US Canada and, and South American side basically what, what we're asking here is when you go to this this point right here at this 12,000 plus mark of land that we can actually any human being could travel to that lives in, in North America how far is it across to Russia if you look at Russia and you look at the other side of the ball on a second uh, 90 degrees if you cross the Arctic North Pole you ought to come right out right here if I drove a big truck how many miles is it from right here across to the other side how big is this Arctic Ocean because all these land masses and this whole ball was set up on the fact of this place right here this unexplored region when and how was it all mapped out is there a newspaper article where it says that the North Polar region was finally mapped in, in, in its entirety that all the continents and land masses in this area have been uh, mileaged out and mapped out I mean I'm just asking questions here these are questions I don't know the answers to and uh, you know, this might be a thought experiment, a flat earth thought experiment, but at the same time, these are legitimate questions. I mean, you don't, there, you, you go and you look up these maps, and you look up a polar map, you, you just don't fi find anything. I mean, that's, that's the whole point here. You can't find anything accurate on any of these maps. You, you can get the land masses. 
But once you get into the North Pole or the South Pole, it all goes out the window because everything was set to this unexplored region. And because of this, and not knowing how far or how big this, this uh, initial or ending circle was or is, then we, we can't say that all the continents are where they say they are. I mean, they are, on, in, they are where they say they are on the ball that they drew, but in reality, if I walk out my front door and I drive on this 90 degree mark, should I, be, I should be able to drive straight across to uh, Russia travel from this point right here and go all the way down and hit Antarctica through the Indian Ocean all the way down here as you'll see on this ball no information okay all the balls are set up like that maybe uh, you know I'm just throwing out ideas maybe some other people get in on this deal and, and and help me out here but uh just kind of throwing this out here from a layman's point of view y'all have a good evening this is flat earth maps and uh well, i'm gonna keep looking at this and come up with some different ideas on this thing but uh i appreciate you watching and thank you very much